Today, we have six artists competing for $100,000. They'll be making art out of this ginormous pile of mannequin parts. We started out with 10 artists, now we're down to six. But before we get to that, let me show you how we got here. The artists made some big art. How exactly am I carrying this? That is now the permanent background in their video labs. I hope you love the background. Everyone gave it their all. The winner is David. <laughs> but unfortunately, Joseph, I will be sending you home. I understand. Joseph didn't make the cut. It's time for Instant Influencer with me, ZHC. How was that take? Pretty good? No. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, what is this? Very fun. It's so dark. There was a body here. I don't even want to go through it. Don't, look, so up. don't look up. Don't look up. Don't look up. I hate it. Nick. Did doormat lie here? He sees you. Ew. No. I don't know if I'm okay with this. Oh, oh my gosh. Miss me. Nick, I feel like... me. <laughs> <laughs> no! I knew this was coming. I just didn't know which one. Uh-uh. Not okay. <laughs> okay. We actually have these beds for a reason and not to just scare you. For your warm-up challenge, you will attempt to scare me. We want you to paint the scariest monster you might find under your bed. Self-portrait. <laughs> oh yeah, but there's a catch. Of course there is. You have to create these monsters <gasps> under the bed. <laughs> How is that even possible? Oh, and you can only use your hands. No other tools. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoever wins this challenge wins another one of those handy dandy advantage brushes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I love that. When I was a kid, I was very, very scared of like anything that was under the bed. I'd rather not go back to that space, what I mean. If I have to for that brush, I guess I'm gonna have to. <laughs> you have 15 minutes, and it starts. Right now. Well, I should probably get out of this bed first. Go! Okay, oh my god. Oh. Ah. The goal of this is to scare Zach, so I'm definitely gonna work on giving him his worst nightmare. I am going to bring in some colors that might represent some people that he knows. I'm gonna use one of these working on my car. Oh boy. <laughs> oh god. No! Oh my god, this is so close! Like, the canvas is right here. It's like we're painting as T-Rexes. Oh, it's so close. Oh my god. Oh, this is good! Dana? Yes? You know the scariest thing about this challenge? What's that? Seeing the artist covered in paint. Oh, this is disgusting. Yeah. That just, like, sends chills it's down just, my spine. Ew. I'm dripping paint everywhere. I need to wash my arms. It's like I just murdered someone. Nasty. Oh my god. You know, finger painting was a passion of mine when I was like seven years old. <laughs> I never thought I would do this in my life. Five minutes. Oh my god. All the colors are just mixing together. I know. I kind of freak out when I get any paint on myself. I, I don't like it. Does that scare you? Yeah. You know what I think is a scary moment of this challenge? You're not gonna know what they're painting at all. I actually kind of love it. This is like gross, but okay. I've got paint splattering on my eyelid, all in my hair. <laughs> in my nose. It went up my nose. If Zach is scared of paint, I'll get messy with paint for 100,000. Marissa, it looks very messy under there. I don't know if you want to come under here. Oh my gosh, oh. look at her face. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, her hair's gonna drag in the paint. I really want that paintbrush. One minute left. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. It's so hard. This is destroying my arm. Ooh. Shake it out, shake it out. 30 seconds. Oh my god, I'm like rolling out of the bed. Sorry. I can't watch. I kind of want to just put some paint on you. I would freak out. My arm is in so much pain. Ah, shoot. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop painting. Ah. Oh, I'm hurting, yo. Come on out from under the bed. Oh, okay. my gosh. This oh, looks so good. Oh my god. 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 O
Marissa, you want to come oh. give us a hug? <laughs> <laughs> she got really close. I thought she wasn't going to touch me at first. My fight or flight kicked in. And I went for option C, screaming. OK, artists, it's time to take a look at the monsters under your bed. Let's see if you can make him scream like he just screamed two seconds ago. <laughs> Marissa, let's see your monster under your bed. Ooh. I already know you like to give money away, so I thought if it was a messy monster that likes to light money on fire, that might terrify you. I think my finished piece is absolutely terrible, but I do like the story that goes along with it. Sophie. This fiery monster has the ability to transport you to any natural disaster at any time. Thank you for traumatizing me. <laughs> All right, Nick. As a kid, I was deathly afraid of being in the woods at night. So there's like a cyclops in the middle, and he's in the woods at night. The monster looks kind of cute. Yeah. <laughs> Does this monster have any evil powers? Um, yes. He can, um, um, no, he doesn't have any evil powers. <laughs> no. Nick, just lie. <laughs> JB? I finally get to step back and see what I made, and I realize it's a little small, but it still looks pretty darn scary. Right when you're falling asleep, about to start dreaming, that's when he comes out and lets you know that it's actually going to be your worst nightmare. Thank you, JB. All right, David? Whoa. Oh, my god. Gosh. Well, that is aggressive. Oh, I it. <laughs> David, did they do a background check on you? That scary When I was younger, I would always go to the museum for art books, and there was one book that was all about, like, World War II art. So this is kind of referencing a lot of that terrifying <laughs> that was in those books. <laughs> Ryan, the wielder of the immunity brush. Oh. Since this is your nightmare, this is Shelly the Siren. And the colors might be based off of things in your life. But her power is that with her cry, she steals artistic ability. Oh, dear. <laughs> that, that would be scary. OK, the winner of today's warm-up challenge is going to receive the snooze brush. brush is going to allow you to hit the snooze button and give you 10 more minutes. Having an extra 10 minutes could really make or break your video. I need to get this brush. You can use this on any elimination challenge except for the last one. Zach, who scared you the most? Who won? The artist with the best finger paint monster under the bed and the winner of the snooze brush is... David. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I got the snooze brush. I'm so excited. I need every advantage I can get to make it to the end. There you go. That was Thank you. I'll use for a while. Well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're off to the next elimination challenge. Follow me. <laughs> oh, what? My oh, my oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is wow. crazy. <laughs> There's body parts <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Pretty cute, huh? <laughs> well, for today's elimination challenge, you'll need to dig through this mannequin graveyard. Oh no. And raise one from the dead. You're gonna have three hours to create a creepy mannequin friend. And then you'll need to make a YouTube Shorts video starring you and your new mannequin buddy. Oh, no! Uh, OK. Last time, I won the warm-up challenge, but then I ended up being on the bottom in the elimination challenge. I still have the immunity brush, and I'm really hoping that I don't have to use it. I want redemption. The mannequins got to creep me out, and the YouTube Shorts video has to be equally creepy. Okay. Okay. Don't hold back. <laughs> <laughs> I've been cruising up until this point, and I need to get some kind of win. We're going to do it this time. 
Are you ready? Yeah, I yes. Think so. I'm ready. Great, because your time starts now. Oh, oh. Shit. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Ooh, you left me hanging. Uh, uh, <laughs> what do I even start with? I don't know if this is what I want. Oh, sorry. This mannequin cemetery is so crazy. There we go. They're all making such weird faces and weird poses. I work full time as a computer scientist. I have never touched a mannequin. This is creepy. Oh, look, here's an oh, eye. My. Uh -oh. Brian just dropped oh, a head. No. Good. Oh, Good. poor mannequin. Poor head. <laughs> okay, I'll come back for it. <laughs> Okay. Ah, so I don't like making creepy art that much. In art school, that's not always like the most popular thing, but everyone expects me to be very like colorful and happy all the time. So I want to have the scariest mannequin possible, like a demon bride. The personality I'm wanting to give my mannequin is kind of the fun, scary uncle, just because I want it to relate to my kids. We can have this like draping. I want to do a female in a wedding outfit. Pantsuit for the win. Her name is Evolve, which is love backwards. Well, she died of a broken heart, so she roams the hotel that she actually died in and kills anybody that is unfaithful to their partner. <laughs> Initially, I moved to Los Angeles to pursue modeling, so I really want to go for a high fashion look for my mannequin and really show that I can make nice clothing, but I also want to kind of put a scary twist on it. It's going to be a challenge trying to combine those two. Why are you running already? You just started. Can't waste a second. There's a lot to do. OK, this is going to be an issue for me. I don't like spooky stuff. I do cutesy things with lots of rainbows and colorful things. So my mannequin concept is a mix of my love of colorful things and paint with Zach's spooky concept. God. That's going to fall over. I have the wrong side of my arm. I'm feeling pretty stressed and confused. <laughs> I got two of the same sided arms, so I gotta swap this for a left. Let's cut you off. When I was younger, everything zombie used to freak me out, so I could use some inspiration from that. I'm just hoping that it scares Zach and does the job. This might not be as easy as I thought. I'm gonna make a bunch of noise. I see power tools and I'm super pumped. <laughs> I'm going to cut into the torso, make it look like there's some sort of ribs, cut into the face, and I'm gonna chop off an arm and put a bone in there. This is totally not the right neck, I don't think. Why is it so long? Look at this neck. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna have to fix that. If I throw a head on that, it's gonna look weird. Okay, I know you use that to cut things. You probably use this to cut things. I've never used a saw in my life. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's powerful. Oh, I think I almost cut my leg off. Two hours, 10 minutes, artist. Oh gosh, I don't know if I can do this. I feel like every challenge gets shorter and shorter, and it gets harder and harder. I know, I'm having fun, even Mine's though this like is goofy. not exactly my element. <laughs> I love horror movies, like with a passion. I, I think they're like so scary great. Movies. I love them. What are you thinking about that immunity brush? I'm liking this challenge, so yeah. we'll see. So he's going to hold on to it again. I would use it on this challenge. <laughs> I would yeet myself out of this challenge if I could. I wish I had the immunity brush. <laughs> I got the snooze brush. I kind of want to switch with Ryan a little bit, but I'm sure it'll come in handy, and I need all the advantages I can get so I can make a third one happen. Work with me, buddy. Work with me. Ooh, that looks cool. OK, at least I got the face done. That's good. Ooh, David. Isn't she kind of spooky? She is spooky. She's kind of spooky. I like the intestines coming out. I'd cut off the hands, do something creepy with okay. that, cut off the feet. I think I need to go grab the okay. saw. Do you think you're going to three-peat? I mean, I'd like to. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to? <laughs> and I love my smooth brush. She's cute. Oh. Do you think you're going to use it this challenge? I'm always a little bit slower with editing. Mm. OK. So 10 and extra minutes of editing could mean the world. Right. <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, Sophie. How's it going so far? Great. I got most of the clothes and everything done. It's very Victorian to me, I feel like. Yes. With, yeah. <laughs> Sophie, do you have a background in fashion or anything? I done a little bit what do you of mean? modeling. Did... Oh. So I think I drew a lot of inspiration from like high fashion. OK, so we're getting yeah. spooky model vibes. Yes, she'll be scary, I promise. OK. Good luck, Sophie. 
<gasps> oh. Okay, I'm done. That was horrifying. Hey, Marissa. How's your piece going? Pretty good. I have left it at this point because I want to start filming my skit. So far, you've had some of the best editing we've had in the competition, and I have high expectations Lower the for, expectations. <laughs> for how you put the video <laughs> together. I feel like if you shoot it correctly, it could come across as pretty creepy. Okay. Let's go. Good luck. Good luck. I know I'm struggling to come up with a scary storyline, so I've got to get away from everyone, go to my video lab, and really start thinking this through. So I can't think around other people, so I'm just like writing a script for myself. I don't watch scary movies. I hate being scared, so this is really challenging for me just to come up with a scary story. Like, how do you make something creepy without the person? Like, I don't want to be like killing my mannequin. God, I don't. <laughs> Hello, Ryan. Hello. How are you doing so far? Not too bad. I need to hurry up a little bit. Do you still plan on saving the immunity brush, or do you think you might use it today? The plan is to save it, but we'll see. One thing you could do is, if you want to take a big risk, the immunity brush would be good for you to experiment something like insane. So it doesn't necessarily need to be when you're not doing well. Maybe you want to test out something crazy and take a big risk. That might also be a good time to use good it. Good advice. I want redemption so much after being in the bottom two last challenge. So I need to impress Zach with the video. And with this brush, I can literally save myself from an elimination. Okay, good All luck. Right. Good Thank luck, you. Ryan. Bye. Oh my God. <laughs> Artists, one hour, 10 minutes. I would strongly recommend start shooting your videos. Yeah, I need to go start filming. I don't have a written plan on how I'm gonna do this video, but I'm definitely wanting to have fun with it and bring the kids into it. Now I just need to go find a spooky place to do my recordings. Let's see here. This thing is hard to carry. Let's move. There's no shot I have time to add any more details, so my editing needs to be perfect. I don't know why no one's filming here. This is the best spot. I have to walk her down the aisle. She's my bride. So I knew from the beginning that I really wanted to play off like going to an altar and have it be more like a demon altar. I'm getting married, I need my bow tie. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. I can't really make a scary like thing right now. I really have never done anything like scary before. This is gonna be so corny, but like what? With only an hour left, I think it'll be really hard to produce a quality scary video. So I'm deciding to take more of a comedic route. Um, hi there. Really don't want to do a bad job on this challenge. Maybe if I have good enough editing, it'll be a pass. I don't, I don't know. I'm talking to my absolute best friend in the world, Jan. Almost there, promise. I'm the last person to start my video, again. I'm so detail-oriented, I want everything to look perfect, but I have to remember, the basis of this challenge is the video. Okay, I, am, I need to just film voiceovers. Okay. I'm a very like big horror movie buff like Zach, so I think I need to kind of bring out a dark side and show how multifaceted I can be. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Ugh, that hurt my throat. I'm super stoked. I'm the first one back to edit. This video is going to be fire. All right, here we go. We gotta get, we gotta get in the zone right now. Break. Okay. Damn. The pressure is definitely on. Zach has high expectations for my editing, and it does stress me out a little bit this time because I don't feel like I have a clear skit in my head of how to make him scared. Artist, 30 minutes. All right, I'm about to get in the zone. Don't look at me, because I'm going to look like a gremlin with my back all hunched. I'm stressing out a little bit. I've only been editing for about a year, but I just don't have a lot of audio experience. I'm wanting my mannequin to have a deep, scary voice, but I'm not really sure how to do that, so I don't know if it's going to turn out good. OMG. Artists, you have eight minutes and 20 seconds left. I think I definitely didn't leave myself enough time to get all of the editing on point. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I kicked ass and won two challenges in a row, and I want to keep that going. But as of right now, this is looking kind of dumb. 10 minutes of editing means everything and is a game changer. I'm going to use the brush. <laughs> Are you dipping it? Yeah, I'm dipping it. <gasps> I want my 10 minutes, honey. Yeah. Oh. All right. Uh, and David's oh. used it. Oh. All right, 10 extra minutes okay. for David. I had to use a snooze brush because I wanted editing to be so good. Three minutes, artists. 
<laughs> oh no. I'm nervous about that. Doing it. <gasps> oh, come oh, on. Oh, Ryan's using his brush. Ryan Double brush. is safe. Wow, immunity play. Even though I'm safe because I used the immunity brush, I'm still feeling nervous because I want to impress Zach with the video. Now that Ryan used his brush, they're essentially competing in yeah. the top five, not six anymore. One very talented artist is going to be going home. We might have time to watch it. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands in the air. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Except for David. <laughs> David, you I keep so working. I am sweaty still. I am. <laughs> David. Can you share time? No, you <laughs> wish. Five, four, three, two, one. Your time is up. <laughs> Look at this confidence. Artists, just like every other challenge so far, this was quite a lot. Yeah. Yes, it was. <laughs> Before we watch our creepy videos today, we need to find our special guest. Ooh. Hi. Nice. Where is the special guest? I don't know. Yeah! Oh, oh, my oh, my God! God. It's just Michael. What up? Just Michael has a huge social media following and is known for doing dances, challenges, and hilarious pranks. <laughs> My kid. <What's> yeah. up? <laughs> Thanks for being here, Michael. Of course. Thank you for having me in the graveyard, man. <laughs> How long were you there for? A few hours. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to watch some creepy videos? I'm excited. All right, David, come on down. Go, David. Let's look at your YouTube shorts. So today, I'm going to be marrying the love of my life. I hope I met this girl like three years ago on the dark web. I haven't seen what she looks like, but we've been going steady long distance ever since. You know, she seems just like my type. A killer smile. I think she's from Pennsylvania. Or maybe that was Transylvania? <laughs> I, I don't know, I was confused too, but I can't wait to meet her. She texted me, said, coming to the altar now. I like your hair. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> You're so straight. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. <laughs> Lucky man. I thought this was such a great example of marrying horror and comedy because that mannequin is scary Ain't as crap. Freaky? I know, right? Did you see the bone coming yeah, out of her it's arm? Incredible. And I think not only did you show off your mannequin, you also branded yourself in two ways. One, you had the mannequin just like chomping off your pink hair. <laughs> <laughs> Second, that straight joke was really funny because it's like part of your brand. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but I feel like you could have utilized your music a little bit better, but I thought it was funny. Thank you. The voice, did you do a, a sound effect with the voice? No. Wow. <laughs> that was a really good voice. That, was that like, wasn't an activation that was thing, like, that was just your voice? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Again, versatile, you gotta be able to do them both, honey. All right, thanks so much, David. Thank you. Okay, JB, you're up. All right, let's watch your YouTube shorts. Shh, we need to find you, Paul. I just created her, but she ran off. We need to find her quick before she kills more. This is not good. Do you see her? Oh my God, she's already collected hands. Gotcha. You, ma'am, are not going in. What are you doing? You are. We have, there's five heads on this subject. Hi, I, I, I was having fun. Interview time. Yes, no. I do not want those flowers. Keep them for How did you get all this going on? You created me. You know I, I killed people wrong people. I literally let you, you out of you did this to yourself. like five minutes. You're going to have to go. I don't know what to tell you, man. I can't have you out here killing people. Whew, thank goodness we got her back in that world. Can't have any more murders on my hands. I think this mannequin is so incredibly creepy. It's just the right amount of, I just killed somebody blood on it. Oh, that makes me so happy, because that's what I was going for. I think the opening was super strong, but then I wanted it to get creepier, and I feel like it kind of fell off. 
Personally, I thought the text was a little bit distracting for me. Gotcha. But and I love how you utilized the extra heads. Thank you. Thanks so much, JB. JB. Hey. All right, so Ryan. Good. Come on up. Ryan. All right, Ryan, even though you can't be eliminated, let's still take a look at your YouTube shorts. All right. Hey, you wanna go trick or treating with me and the kids? Two friends set out on an impossible journey to take an eight year old, seven year old, five year old, and two year old trick or treating. I don't really know what my wife's gonna think about us TPing things. Well, that definitely did not go as planned. All right, next time I'm definitely choosing the activity. All right, good job, Ryan. Ryan. Ryan, so obviously you can't be eliminated today, so we're just gonna give you some tips and, and what we thought of the video. Sounds good. So could I, could I ask what, what was the concept of the video again? I just went towards more funny and just trying to bring my kids into it. I was calling my friend over to go take them trick-or-treating and then it was just supposed to be dramatic because it's gonna be hell taking the four of them trick-or-treating. <laughs> so the deep voice was really hard to understand. Okay. And maybe for certain parts, if you were to add like subtitles, because it, it, it makes a person more engaged when they know what's being said. Okay. So yeah. So your mannequin had some very unique features to it. You had part of the body showing, which was cool. And then you actually cut open your mannequin a little bit to show some light glowing out, which I thought was a nice touch. Thank you. I think your editing's improved. Yeah. But the viewer needs to really understand your video to get the story. So I would just keep that in mind for next time. Thanks a lot. Good job, Ryan. All right, Sophie, you're up. Sophie. All right, let's see it. Hey, you guys, I just broke into YouTube studios and it's after hours, so let's see if we can find anything weird. There's absolutely no one here, but I get a weird vibe around the corner. <gasps> Do you know your way around here? So I'm gonna take that as a no? Well, can you at least tell me where you got your nails done? Because those are cute. Okay, well, you're very shy. Want to hear a joke? How did the tarantula meet its significant other? He spied her on the web. <laughs> Thought you would like that one, but you seem hard to impress. It was nice talking to you, but this place is haunted. I gotta go. Bye! <laughs> first things first, I think your mannequin was very scary. The face with the things jutting out of it creeped me out. But to be completely honest, I didn't find it too funny. I do think you could have made it a little bit creepier in some parts. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing, when I think of Victorian fashion, like what you did with the mannequin, mm -hmm. it can be real scary. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like it was a missed opportunity there. Thank you so much, Sophie. Thank you. Marissa, you're up next. Marissa. All right. I'm talking to my absolute best friend in the world, Jan. <laughs> so what did you do last night? Oh, um, me and Kate hung out. She hung out with our mutual best friend, the friend we found together without me. We had a sleepover in the graveyard. I feel like I've been stabbed in the back repeatedly at this point. I'm profusely bleeding. I run as fast as I can into the graveyard to find myself a whole new best friend. I'm gonna have to dig one up again. Jan's dead to me. To be honest, I'm a little confused. I'm not sure what happened in that video. And, and for me, that was a little surprising since for the last couple videos, you've been such a great storyteller. In this one, I just didn't really know what was going on. Um, do you wanna tell me a little bit more about it? What, it was, what I was going for was a reality TV show where I'm talking about my best friend. It was supposed to be like a scary thing at the end to realize like you've been listening to a crazy person talk the whole time. I think you had a really good idea. I just don't think it was executed very well. It is what it is. <laughs> um, the mannequin looks amazing. It gave me instantly the vibe of like the kid melody songs that like turn out scary. That's the vibe that that gave yeah. me. But I didn't actually get to see the mannequin really throughout the video, it was more of you. Well, thanks, Marissa. 
I know this is not the best video I've ever made. My concept was a little bit more confusing than usual, so I might have needed more time to edit. It was just one of those days I just got thrown off. All right, Nick, you're up. All right. Yes, man. Yes, let's go, Nick. All right, let's see it. Oh. Good job today, boys. Make sure you lock the doors when you guys leave. See you guys tomorrow. Ooh. 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 <laughs> oh, I got kind of scared. <laughs> hey guys, I think I actually forgot to lock the back door. <laughs> Right off the bat, you got me at that jump scare. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I definitely wish the mannequin had like a bit of more of a creative twist since it's just a humanoid being, but the way he used it in the video with that lighting, yeah, I got scared. Oh, That's awesome. I jumped two or three times. <laughs> All right, thanks, Nick, great job. Thank you, guys. Uh, Artists, with only three hours, today must have been pretty scary for you. But we also saw some of the good scary. Michael, do you want to announce the winner? All right, I got to get a little drum roll. Okay. The winner of today's mannequin challenge is Nick. What? Yes! <laughs> wow. Nick just comes out with these incredible videos, and it's a little intimidating. Scaring someone is very hard to do, and that's why I felt like yours deserved the dub. Very great job. Thank you, guys. Good job. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm so stoked on winning this challenge, but I'm gonna continue to step up my art for the next challenge just to make sure I can keep winning. Sophie and Marissa, unfortunately, you two are at the bottom today. Sophie, you had a good mannequin, but in your video, I just didn't really find it funny. Marissa, you had a very ambitious idea, but it could have been executed a little bit better, which is why you two are at the bottom. Ryan, I did think it was a good idea that you used your immunity brush today. You try some things, they work. You try some things, they don't work. But I think you would have been at the bottom. I know that this video didn't come together the way that I had hoped it would, but I'm still super pumped that Zach sees my improvement and I can definitely see the improvement myself too. Today you're safe. And that means JB, Nick, David, and Ryan, you are all safe. Everyone that's safe, head to the lounge. Thank you. Bye, guys. Marissa and Sophie, I'm gonna send you back to your video labs, and I'm gonna discuss with Dana and Michael, and I will unfortunately have to send one person home. Okay. Bye, thank you. You got a tough call to make, man. I felt like... Marissa's concept was super original. That you're going to kill your best friend? That's creepy. It just wasn't brought out to the best ability. I could see what you're saying, but I was lost the whole time. I think that Sophie had a clear idea, didn't execute it well. Okay. I mean, Zach, what do you think? Sophie's comedy just wasn't there. I didn't laugh. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to say this about them, but but it made me cringe. Ooh. That's a harsh word when he says cringe. For Marissa, it's like you you spend so much time on your masterpiece, but you don't show it. Yeah. I mean, I was definitely surprised when I saw the actual mannequin. I was like, this is dope. I didn't see this at all in the video, yeah. you know? I don't know. It's going to be a tough decision. I don't want to send someone home. Oh, well, guess what? You got to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks, Michael, for coming. Appreciate you, man. I hope you uh, figured it out. <laughs> Anna, I will see you later. See you, man. You got this. I don't want to see anybody go, honestly. At this point, we're just getting too close with each other. I know how they feel being down there, too, and it's not a good feeling. I'm definitely not surprised that I'm here. I definitely messed up on this challenge compared to the previous challenges. I feel like if I do stay, it's only because they liked my videos from the past. Definitely scary being in the bottom two. I think I definitely didn't leave myself enough time to get all of the editing on point because it was a little bit choppy. And I can do better videos than that. 
Uh oh. Hey, Marissa. Hey. <laughs> I knew it. Don't I'm just so glad to be here because I still feel like I have so much to prove. You guys, we're down to There's five. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. We made it halfway. <laughs> Give me some high fives. Don't leave me here. Yeah, like, come, come on, come on, come on. Yo, that's crazy. I'm so sorry. But unfortunately, you're going to be sent home today. It's OK. It's a win just being picked to be here, in my opinion. This one, you tripped up just a little bit. But I think you're incredibly talented. You're incredibly smart. and. When I saw you working, I just saw a bit of myself in that. Just just how focused you were. <laughs> Thank you. You're on the path to success. Well, uh, would you like to do a sign off with me? This is Zach. This is Marissa. And where can they find you on YouTube? It's Bellamina. B E L L A. Oh, it's probably going to be up here, right? And bye. Bye. Walking into this, I didn't really consider myself an artist, but now I've proven to myself that I can compete. Moving forward, I'm just gonna keep uploading on my channel every Sunday at 2 p.m. <laughs> Boo. Oh, so, he's here. Hey, Zach. Hi. Do you guys know what the bed's here for? For Nick to lay on? <laughs> so that was actually the bed that appeared in the first video I ever made. Whoa! Whoa no yeah. way. Oh, Whoa, that is We're sick. literally in Zach's bed right now. Yeah. <laughs> so this was the OG backdrop for my videos. <laughs> that is oh, so God, cool. That's crazy. <laughs> but to be completely honest, when I, when I started doing my videos and this bed was in the backdrop, they were not great videos. And I see all of you and you're already so much further ahead than where I was just a couple years ago. And everyone here has what it takes to eventually become a huge influencer for art. Wish I could have everyone on the show win, um, oh. but, but but all of you have like so much potential. This is hard. I'm trying to keep it together and not burst into tears because this is so magical and surreal, and this means so much to me, so freaking much. All right. <laughs> all right well, I'll time. see you guys. All right, Zach. Right, thank, thank you. Thank you. You're king. I'm feeling really confident now. It was such a nice boost. Zach, thank you for inspiring me and so many others. 